Okay, uh, before we begin, before we begin, I have a package from America. I have a package from America, and I don't know if you guys would want me to do that on a separate segment, or if you would like me to do it now. Do it now, do it now, okay. So this package uh, is sent all the way from the, uh, the, the North America, and I should probably, you know what, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll probably do something to manage this on the stream, but let me, let me just do this as we begin, you know, because I think a lot of people want to see this. Okay, let me just, uh, let me get a package or like a, like a thing so I can do this. Uh, here we go. I'll do something like this. It is not the first package that I, I have opened from America, in fact, because um, I was, have been sent some packages throughout the, uh, Shut the streams here, and this is no exception, but uh, there we go. I, I guess this will do. All right, that, that sure works. And then we're just going to have, like, this playing as we're doing it. But, um... All right, cool. Well, welcome to the... Welcome to a segment where I open up a package from America. As I said, uh, this is not the first time I've been sent packages. It is not from Vinny, however. It is not from Mike. Um... You know, uh, I await for whatever, you know, pipe bomb they send me, but it is not, it is from one of the mods, Chowder. Uh, Chowder could not be here for this, unfortunately, because, um, well, Chowder is busy with, with an actual job. Uh, he does not need to eat gross beans, uh, you know. But uh, he will catch the VOD later, so whenever you're watching this, Chowder, hello. But Chowder has sent me a big box and uh, I don't think it's a glitter box, um, but it is smushed to absolute shit. And I'm gonna go get it. Hang on. Okay, so here's the package. It's a it's a giant giant package. Uh, first problem with this box is that I don't know what post postnode did in like transit here, but they really fucked it up. Uh, it has been ripped to shit, and there is. Uh, someone said, I can't see it. Well, well, welcome, my name is Joel, you know, um, I've been streaming for a while, and, uh, I do not use facecam. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> condescending, I'm sorry. Uh, but anyway, here's, here's this box. It's a big box, and uh, it comes from... The United States Postal Service. Which means that this is from America, it is not a scam, so, you know. But if you can't see this, if you can't see the face cam, refresh the stream until you see it. It's a visual glitch. Anyway, um... So, let's see what's inside this fucking thing. Surprisingly easy to open. Uh, so, uh... Chatter misspelled his own name on here. Um, Chatter's real name is Timmy, and for some reason, Chatter like forgot one M, so it's just Timmy. Um, so that's not good. But let's see what's inside. Okay. Well, first of all. We have a box of Little Debbie Mini Muffins. Hang on. What is this? Little De Debbie Mini Muffins. What's this? This is, the, this is the exact same box I have. As you can see, this is, this is what we're dealing with. Mini Muffins, chocolate chip. Um, there's the Muffin Man I've heard so much about. And it says, do you know the Muffin Man on the side? It says, do you know the... It says a picture of a muffin. Mm, muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man. Do you know the Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane? Is this a Toy Story font? It looks like it, it, looks like it is. Um... 
Okay, well, on the back it says, C is for chocolate chip. The Muffin Man likes to go canoeing. Can you find 12 objects starting with the letter C in this scene? Then find and count 8 chocolate chip mini muffins. The Muffin Man. Uh, I want to see if I can get a picture of the back of this for you guys. Because there's uh, there's a little like a puzzle thing for it. Um, I can't get a picture, but it looks like Ness is on the back. <laughs> I'll probably edit and post <laughs> when this goes up on YouTube. Maybe like, oh, okay. But uh, all right. But uh, download your free ebook. Holy shit! What is this? Damn it! I looked at the cheat sheet upside down in the muffin to see what all the words were. Damn it! I shouldn't do that. Well, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have one of these cookies. Um, are these real cookies? Are these, are these real? Okay, they come in a bag. Four muffins. Are these real muffins? Like for real? Oh my god! It's like it's like muffins for for dogs or something. These are the tiniest muffins I've ever seen. What is this? What is this? These are like Scooby snack muffins. It smells like muffins. Yeah, uh, we'll try one. Um, allergy information contains wheat, soy milk, egg, and may contain tree nuts. Uh, what the hell is tree nuts? I don't know what it is, but I enjoy the muffins. They, they have a weird consistency it's consistency yeah, you know what i'm trying to say here they're not like store brought like muffins it's like they're slightly wet they're like you know what i mean like they're they're not like they're unnaturally moist it's like i don't know hmm. well This would be great if, if you were to like kill somebody, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't disguise the fact that they were poisoned. You're like, these are a little unnaturally wet and weird, and you'd be like, well, that's just a little Debbie, you know. Um, not bad, not bad. I, I like these. These will go great with like, a cup of tea, you know. Uh, they're good, but they're very weird because like muffins in a bag. I've never had anything like this. It's like. It's like an alien try to imitate fresh food. They're like space muffins. They, they, they're not like muffins. It's like, there's something weird about them, but, uh, you know. So, shout out to Little Debbie here. Uh, I'm not sure if Little Debbie is a rapper or not, but she does make mean muffins. So, you know, I like it. Good shit. Little, little, little Deb. <laughs> little Debbie. Wow, thank you so much, Shatter. And there's there's several ones here. Little oh my god, these are these are plenty. Do you guys wanna read the um, nutritional information on the back here? Because um, one pouch contains uh, how many sugars? 85 grams of sugar. It is 170 170 uh, you know 170 like I don't know what you want to call it. Of what? Uh, how many calories is in this? Um, well, there's 50 milligrams of cholesterol. So this is great for my diabetes. But uh, I like them. I like them. They uh, they uh, they they're good. Seriously, they're 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 good. They're good. So thank you so much, Chowder. Uh, very nice. Chowder also sent me a. F <sighs> F 
Fuck off! Um... He has sent me a... From Walmart, a Among Us Viking plushie of... For fuck's sake, what? Uh, series 2 Among Us plush... Pelushes. Among Us. Made by... JustToysInternational.com Just Toys, huh? Okay, uh... I should take a picture. Cause now I have a, an, an actual like Swedish Among Us g like guy, and now I have you know friend. I can have them next to each other. <laughs> um, I'm gonna take a picture of this later for you guys to see. But what the fuck? I didn't know they made these. I mean, I thought these were like like bootleg bootleg toys you see at fairs and shit. But they actually make these real ones. Oh my god, Among Us. I saw the hat, I saw the hat, and I'm like, oh, he sent me a little funny hat. But then I saw the, the bulbousness of this thing. Wow, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm gonna scream into this Among Us thing. Oh! Okay. <laughs> um. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was, that was incredible. That was incredible. I now own this Among Us <laughs> toy with a Viking hat. <laughs> What's next? Le next is a Duvalin. No lo cambio por nada. Sabor. Avellana Freja Vanilla. Nueva Imagen. Oh, okay. Exceso calorías, exceso azúcares, exceso grasas saturadas. All right. That means it's healthy, right? Uh, dulce, cremoso, sabores. Avellana, fre fresca? Is it fresca? I don't know how to say that. Why vanilla? So this is a uh, para venta exclusiva in Mexico. That means that uh, this might be a Mexican snack. So, uh, all right, interesting. Interesting. Um, it's pretty fresca. So let's try this out. I I'm not sure, what is this like mini ice creams? I I'll show you what this looks like, by the way, sorry. Uh, Duvalin. Uh, <laughs> uh, here we go, here's Duvalin. Uh, my Duvalin looks a little, oh, here it is, here it is. Here's three flavors of Duvalin. And judging from how many excesso calorias is, I might need some insulin for my Duvalin because this is gonna fuck me up and give me diarrhea, but all right. It's like a Nutella, is it? Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, what is, yes it is. Oh my God, it is. It's like a little, little, they look like little condom like packages full of like cream. Okay. Anyone from Mexico have these? Okay, let's see. So this is like a Neapolitan. Is it meant to be refrigerated? I don't think so. I'm just gonna eat like an animal. I'm just gonna put my finger in the cream, in the package, and just like scoop it out. Oh, okay. I wish I had some crackers or something I could just like put some to. There's some weird under flavor here. That's a little funky. I think I'm tasting all the preservatives or something. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's very, very chemical flavored, but. This might be for actual babies, because if you take a look at the the regular packaging, there's a little boingy boof on it, you know, and little babies don't know anything about this. So you now fuck off. 
Okay. They're nice, though. But I'm surprised it doesn't come with, like, a spoon or something. Does this not come with a spoon? Oh my god, I have so many Duvalines now! Ah, there was a spoon! There was a... There was a spoon inside, god damn it. Now I have, like... Shit on my fingers, god damn it. Alright. <laughs> this is the tiniest spoon in the world. This spoon is, like, smaller than my pinky. I feel ridiculous right now. I'm eating like children's chocolate pudding with a tiny little spoon in front of like almost 4,000 people. <laughs> Get me out of here. Get me out of here. I just escaped. Okay. These spoons will be perfect for Vinny's little, little gremlin hands. Venus rat hands would really enjoy these. <laughs> okay. They're really, really sugary, but they're nice. They're nice. This is definitely something that uh, I could not <laughs> I could not possibly eat in one sitting because there's 18 of these inside, but uh, they're nice. They're nice, and I think they might like authentically be from Mexico. Uh, which I'm really like how did how did Chowder like just go down to Mexico and up. I'm sure they sell it in Walmart too, but they are they, they are nice. They are nice um, Personally, I think it would be better as an ice cream rather than a like pudding, but um, they're good. They're good. They're, they're nice. They're nice um, No, lo, no lo cambio por nada Ricolino sabor Avellana fresha vanilla Nueva imagen. Okay. Oh shit, I dropped one on the floor. God damn it. Oh, it was intact. Oh, thank God. Nail that heart attack. Okay, well, uh. Because <laughs> this, this kind of stickiness will never leave the floor. You know, you go around with shoes inside, like an American, it's gonna be like. <laughs> as you're walking, you know. But wow, thank you so much. So we've had. We've had, um. Duvaline so far. Interesting. An Among Us thing, and of course, Little Debbie's chocolate shit. Chocolate shit! <laughs> okay. okay. Um, we've had a lot of these. Um, and uh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, moving on. We have Pepsi. What's this? Direction for What's this? Whoa, whoa, wait, was it Taste Beauty 3-pack? Three, three flavored lip balms. What the? What is this? Pepsi lip balm? What in the hell? Um. This is what I have. <laughs> it's an eBay store, but is that a real product? What is this? Smiles you can taste. And on the back it says, THIS IS NOT A FOOD PRODUCT! Okay. Um, direction for safe use. Apply smoothly and evenly to lips. Not to be eaten. Oh yeah? Avoid eye area for external use only. Is this, is this like, you know, butt cream? Uh, discontinue if use if rash, redness or itching occurs. Consult your physician if irritation persists. Okay. Parental supervision is advised. Uh, okay, lip balm ingredients. Uh, it's got eth ethanol, hexapolysibutene, squalene, kerosene, beeswax, fragrance, phenoxyethol, BHT, sodium saccharine. Make a ten may contain red six lake, red twenty seven lake, blue one lake, yellow five lake, iron oxides. So this is this is vegan. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hang on. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's how I open a packet. I use my teeth. Ah! Ah! Hang on. This 
Listen, some people, some people, like, they need a pair of scissors to do this. You know, uh... Lord Tongo blessed us all with the ability to use our teeth when he made the world. Okay, use it. Okay, we are carnivores, so... But let's see what this is all about. I do not use lip balm because, uh, frankly... You know, I, I keep myself hydrated. Um... I don't know. I, I've never had problems with my lips being dry. But uh, let's try it out. There, there's Pepsi, there's Pepsi Cherry, and there's Mountain Dew. Uh, I, I I do not wish to like have the taste of Mountain Dew linger on my lips. But here we are. I'm gonna have some Mountain Dew. Uh, kiss Among Us. Fuck off. Uh, okay. That's <laughs> where I'm gonna bite this. I, I feel awkward sitting there like applying lip balm on stream in front of people. Like I, like I feel like a ho ho, you know. You guys are like smooch, smooch. I'm sitting. I, just, ugh, I don't know. Take a bite. Okay. I I shouldn't be tasting with my, with my tongue. I'll take a bite. I'm gonna do it. I'm just kidding. I still got a little bit of the, uh, the other stuff. Um, I suppose it's very, it's very like subtle. So. I, I suppose there's a bit of a sweetness from a mountain doing this, but uh, all right, let's try the Pepsi one because Pepsi has like a more because I'm not too familiar with Mountain Dew. Like uh, it's not really available here. It is, but not like in America. Uh, his Pepsi Cherry. That's what it's all about. I feel like a little kid that got into like mom's like uh, makeup uh, box. I'm just sitting here with my whole hand around lip, just smearing it across my face. Ah! ah! Oh fuck! I smushed it too hard. And I have like lip balm protein all over my face. Fuck! I feel like the Joker now. Oh, it's all in my beard. <laughs> okay. This tastes more like just cherry. You know. Try to ah. Let's try the final one. The final one is just white. So it looks like um it looks like that stuff they cook with uh lard. Lip lard. <laughs> I'm putting too much on this much fucking lip balm on your face. I can't taste anything now because I have three flavors on my face <laughs> and I'm watching Mexican pudding, okay? <clears throat> okay, it's enough. All oh, my lips are like unnaturally like fucked now. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well, throughout the stream, if you notice a lot of lip smacking, it's because there's a lot of crap on my face now. I feel like the Joker, you know. This is someone's crap. Vomit now. Well, bats. I've got all the lip balm in the world, bats. Mountain Dew. Pepsi. Bats, I got into mommy's <coughs> makeup box. I'm the Joker. Ah! Ah! Oh, so much shit on my, my face. Vomit as the Joker. I'm gonna vomit, bats. Here I go. Let's see what's in the rest of this. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Here is here is this box, which I'm gonna open last because I kind of know what this is that he sent me. He also sent me a bag or something. What is this?
What is this? This is... Yo, what the fuck? Look at this! I've been sent Fritos, Flaming Hot Bar B. Okay. Um, interesting. Fritos Flaming Barbecue. I don't think I've ever had Fritos. I don't know what I don't know what Fritos taste like. There's some sort of corn chip uh, thing, right? Let's try some barbecue. Oh, oh! Oh, I smell it directly and the powder like cocaine up my nose. Oh! Oh my god. My fucking eyes are tearing up. Now I have like shit smeared on my face and in my nose. <laughs> Hi, streamer. Okay, let's try one of these. Yeah. Like a little spicy little corn chips. Pretty small. 160 calories per package. Okay. They expire in November too, so they apparently they have a short shelf life for a corn chip, but uh Okay. Questions or comments? Guaranteed fresh. Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 30 p.m. Email or chat to Frito Lace. At com dot com? Okay. I should I should I should uh, talk to Frito Lace and be like, you guys want a game? <laughs> you guys wanna play some games? <laughs> call them. No, I, I can't call them. I can't call them. I don't have my American SIM card in anymore, which uh, I, have I ever told you the story why I have an American SIM card now? I must have done that, right? No. Yeah, okay, I have. Uh, well if you don't know when it was in America, you know, I, I, I the first thing I, I happened, I flew down to Newark uh, airport, and you know, my regular Swedish SIM card. When I'm out on the world, it says, "Welcome to so and so." You know, here's your free data network and all that shit. That didn't happen when I when I got down in America, and I immediately freaked out. I'm like, "Oh shit, how am I gonna contact everybody?" All right. So I'm like, fuck, okay. But then I noticed that in the Newark airport, there was a T-Mobile, like, salesman. And I went up to him and I asked, I, I might need one of these. Uh, it's like, all right, blah, 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 blah. So I got myself, like, a prepaid little SIM card. I get it, put it in, and, you know, walk outside. I'm like, all right, here we go. Put it in, let's call. And then my other card switches on and says, welcome to America. So I have never used it. But I got played by T-Mobile. Uh, so that's... That's something. But yeah, the Fritos was pretty cool. Uh, then there is this. Okay, this. I'm noticing a lot of uh, what I believe is to be Mexican warnings on here. Like, I think the health regulations in Mexico has every snack and food labeled with excesso this and excesso that. Like, excesso sodio and excesso... Calorias. But this, my friends, is something interesting. Because look at this. This is Churimais con Lemoncito. And I think these are like some sort of. <laughs> what are they? They are like. They are apparently fried corn strips, spicy lemon flavor. All right, dude, this these these sound fantastic. Okay, they're made by a company called Sabritas, and their co company logo. Wait, what the hell? What? Huh? What the hell? Is Sabritas just Mexican lace? <laughs> I guess so. But I was looking up their logo, and th their logo on the packaging is the cutest thing I've ever seen. 
Look at this, like, you know, super happy little tomato man. He's so happy. They got a real friend energy to him. So, you know, if this gives me diarrhea, then actually my my one is even happier. In fact, my sabritas is is even happier. Uh, I can't get you a picture of it, but he's he's even happier on my package. Yeah, here we go. Here's my little sabritas, and uh, if this guy gives me like um, you know some sort of poison, then you know this smile is to blame. Uh, so, all right, sabritas. Give it a try. I'm not gonna be eating a lot of these. You know, I'm just here to try them, and then you know afterwards, you know, throughout the throughout the whatever, we'll see how many I can get. But uh. It's interesting to learn about other snack cultures because, like, it makes you really depressed. Because if you find something you really like, you will know that you will never get this. And you're gonna be stuck with the shit that's around the block, always available. And you get a real, like, thirst or, like, a hunger for, like, Man, I wish I could get this more often, so it sucks. But, um, let's try it out. These have a weird flavor. It's like the, the 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 snack itself uh, taste of like compacted dirt, but then the flavor kicks in, and it's like oh lemon. Another one. It's like two flavors going on at once. <laughs> it's just like. It tastes like, it tastes like a compacted sand at first. You're like, ah, flavor kicks in, you know, but, um, they're, they're nice, but or, or, th th these must be healthier to eat or something because their taste isn't fi fantastic, but they are nice, but I've had, uh, Takis, Takis, uh, with lemon taste a little bit better than these. They are very nice though, and I could. These would probably go beer, like go well with a beer or something like that. But uh, these got kind of like a bar snack, I would say. They're very nice. They're very nice, but uh, the flavor is not what I expected them to be. They have like a very base flavor of huh, and then whoa, lime. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I had to get the, the like the, the corn out of my throat. <clears> throat. I'm fine. I'm fine. It it just came down. All right. Well, there we go. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. I I think I prefer the Frito, though. The Frito is more for, like... Has a better base flavor, I would say. You know what I'm noticing? A lot of people say that American snacks is like uh, Americans just consume so many snacks and all that stuff. But these these little packages are tiny. Uh, in fact, I would say Swedish like chip bags and stuff. They're they're much bigger than this. They're very like compact little bags and stuff. Um, have they gotten smaller over the years? Americans speak up. These, like, every year they reduce it by 1% chance, or uh, size, and you just go whoosh, a little bit smaller. So over 10 years, 10% less, you know. They're mostly just air. I get my different sizes. Okay. Well, I prefer, I prefer the, the Fritos a little bit, but both were really nice. Um... Here, we have a lot of bubble wrap. You guys want to do some bubble wrap? stuff. There we go. Here's how the pros do it. They take this thing and they, they twist it, and you get multiple bubble wraps like this. Mm. 
And this is not me farting because not all the corn chips I ate. Stop it. We have something here, and it is... What the hell? All you need is coffee and tacos. Coffee to go tumbler. True living. What the, what the hell is this? What? <laughs> what is this? Coffee to go? What? True living. Oh, damn it. All you need is, what, what is this? True living coffee to go. <laughs> Can I even, <laughs> it's not a picture of this. It's like, it basically it's just one of these. It like, he just sent me one of these, and it says on the top, all you need is coffee and tacos. Uh, that is, that is a, like, a, a fucking nuclear recipe for a very upset stomach. Coffee plus tacos, that seems, that seems like an intestinal nightmare. Is there anything inside? Does he want me to have diarrhea? I don't drink a lot of coffee, but, uh... Yeah, it's just a cup! It's just a cup! Okay. Well, thank you! Uh, you know, if I ever need something on the go, just... Alright. But, um, I had a bad experience with one of these one time. The worst smell in the world I've ever faced, or smelled, was not Sustrumming or, you know, whatever. Uh, one time, many, many, many years ago, I was drinking coffee on the go like this, right? And I was like a thermos, right? Just like this. And, uh... The, like, I, I had forgotten about it. Uh, I put it somewhere, I'm like, oh shit, oh god damn it. So it was half drank coffee. And I opened up again, and like, the milk came alive. Like, it just activated with a smell. That smell has never left my, my, my synapses. It was like a shotgun blast of a, like a whiff that it knocked me backwards. I'm like, whoo! Um, so I'm a little wary of that, but, uh, you know, I promise to be very clean. Um, so <laughs> someone said, motherfucker, make cheese. Uh, well, this is very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you so much. I, I generally appreciate it. Maybe I can... Okay, I have a fuck, fucking dumb idea. I have a monster energy drink here, the white one, because I'm a boomer, right? <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Okay. Actually, I can have it even, even more. Okay. You realize my, my, my diet right now is like American corn chips and monster energy drink. Alright. I'm gonna have like... I'm gonna have an existential crisis on stream, you know, because I'm, I'm I'm gonna be having lived half my life because of the shit I'm eating right now, it's terrible for you. But I put this monster energy drink in this coffee thing, and is it is it drinkable? Of course it's drinkable, but how do you put this down? Is it is it secure? Is it secure? How do, how do you what? This is gonna this is gonna like. Go all over my shirt. I'm gonna look like an animal, you know, with a bunch of monster energy juice on me. With lip balm. Like, I'm turning into a fucking freak monster of, like, snacks. Okay, don't pop off, okay? You're good now? <laughs> I'm drinking monster energy out of a cup like this. But that's very nice. That's, that's... That is very nice, actually. That is very nice. Um... Wow. There's something else in here. There is this Swedish fish inside. So, uh, wow. Can I get get a picture of the bag? There we go. My, my, my bag is a little, uh, like, much bigger than this, but... American Swedish fish tastes, like, almost nothing like the real thing. Um, 
you know. Mike really notices the flavor difference. But there's something with the consistent the texture, I would say. I don't know if these are different wax or whatever, but. There you go. Oh, they've actually increased the size of these a little bit. Uh I did have Swedish fish minis in I bought them at Target in New York. So maybe the minis taste different. We'll see. We'll see. Let's try it out. Yeah. Very different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are very different. Swedish fish are a little bigger and they are also like harder to eat in terms of like chewiness, right? These are way more soft and they lack a bit of a gelatinous feel to them. Uh, it's hard to describe exactly what's so different about them, but uh, they are nice, but they're not the same thing. Um, How I, how I review, how I see American Swedish fish is a little bit like this. Scandinavian swimmers. <laughs> or assorted Nordic fish. <laughs> ah, we can't forget about the classic. Do you fish? They're nice, but okay. I, I know you're already taking one of Swedish products and just fucking it up, but what the hell? What? Oreo Swedish fish? <laughs> All right, whatever you say. But yeah, you know, American Swedish fish. I had plenty of these in America, and uh, I do prefer the real Swedish ones. The real Swedish ones have more, like, I would say, flavor. Uh, I'm being very, like, prideful of this, but but it's honestly that preference thing. Um, and Mike preferred them, too. Uh, I think Vinny did as well, but, yeah, uh, it's... The real Swedish fish has different flavors, like licorice and pear and, like, pineapple, more stuff like that. So, you know, but apparently you guys have invented your own bastard flavors. So, you know, good on you for making Oreos. So, um, yes. But anyway... Very nice. I, I will. I will be enjoying these. You know, I'm just being a little picky because they are, after all, Swedish fish. So, uh, yes. Uh, Chatter also. Sent me <laughs> oh, he sent me a Krabby Patty. What the fuck? He sent me a Krabby Patty. Okay. Uh. He sent me this, like, the candy, um, basically this, he sent me this. Wow. Is this, is this a real Krabby Patty? This is like, there's this vaginal ghost in the middle of this. It's just this, like, Flesh, you know, like is that meant to be the meat? Oh, this this came apart. Uh, I shouldn't. Okay, there's a giant pickle actually. Oh, no, oh yeah, it's a, the, the the green thing is not a lettuce. It's a giant pickle. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Oh, okay. You know, some candy you feel you never grew out of. But this particular kind of candy, when you eat into this, you're time traveling. Back to when you're like seven years old and you go down to the candy shop and you have your like months allowance from your parents and it's just like a dollar. And you're like, I want that. Um, I do remember this kind of stuff. It, it, it's particularly uh, hard actually, but you know, uh, I'm gonna have another one actually.
There's something similar in Sweden I had as a kid, but I think ours were like more clear. Hang on. Like uh, the ones we had was these are the ones we had from Trolley, I think. And I remember them being a little softer, but uh, they're nice. <laughs> These are nice, um, you know, and we have them in Finland too. Ah, right, cool, cool, cool. But yeah, this this really takes me back. This really takes me back. I, I really remember these these hamburger things, and I've actually had a Krabby Patty now. Um, <laughs> I think I've seen them in Canada. I think Trolley is <laughs> Trolley. I think Trolley is actually in America making like snacks and stuff like that, right? I think I saw like a Trolley bag. When I was there, um, yeah, they, they do, yeah. Hmm. Stop trolling. Yeah. Well, pretty damn nice, pretty damn nice. Um, very nice. What is the next thing? Oh, holy, what is this? Baritas Marinella. Strawberry filled cookies, artificial, okay. I'm slowly dying here, okay? Uh, it's nothing but sugar, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Baritas. Fresca. Alright, here we go. Here's these. And, uh... Looks pretty good. I gotta stop. I believe these are also from... Mm, I don't think so. I don't think these are from Mexico. Because they don't have three warning labels saying that they're excess of sodium, you know? Um, oh, they are! They should be! Oh, really? Okay. But where's the warnings? Maybe they're really healthy. They look like a really flat hot dog. Okay, you can see the image. They're really like long, flat hot dogs. <laughs> they're like glizzies or something. Um, it smells like a cookie, I guess. It's like eating a really dry pillow. Nice. You know, it's weird. A, a lot of these stuff for me is very, um, at least when I was growing up, grandma would always have this kind of stuff. And we would always have like, you know, because Sweden has a thing called fika, F-I-F-I-K-A, not fecal. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a thing where we invite guests and people we know, and we all sit around and we sit around, drink coffee, tea, eat this kind of pastry stuff. It's a Swedish thing and, um, bit of a cultural thing. Um, Swedish, Swe Swedes don't, uh, oh yeah, I remember that. Do you guys remember when, when Sweden got, got blasted for like, we starve our children here and we do not allow guests, you know, because some hillbilly on the internet said, this is true when it happened. And then all of Sweden was like, wait, but we have, we literally have a Swedish thing called Fika where we are like, Come enjoy our, some snacks together, you know. And they're like, "No, I know." Say, so, yeah, some some hillbilly said something on the internet, so uh, you know. But hey, these are good. Hmm. Nice. I feel a lot of people would like you. Yeah, not do this, but I would use this for fika, and I'll have a cup of tea with this. I think pastries and tea go very, very well together. I do this rare, like, disgusting thing. I like to take a pastry. <laughs> I like to have a sip of tea, right? And then I dunk the pastry in the tea. And then, then I, like, like a leech, I suck out this <laughs> the juices and the, the tea out of the pastry. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's normal. I know Australians do something called the Tim Tam Slam, right? 
See, I'm, I've, you know, throughout the years, I've, I've really learned a lot about the world. So, you know, interesting. And I might, God damn it, there's so much stuff on here. But, uh, you know, we have two more things here. And they are very important for the stream. Because, ladies and gentlemen, Shouter has sent me. this I got an image from eBay but it's not necessarily it well, this will do chowder has sent me a Mario paint mouse and Mario paint cartridge um. <laughs> uh, that's right uh, Wow I have never actually uh, I probably have at some point but here's the Mario paint mouse have a nice mouse replacement now. Oh, look at this. So, soon in the future, we are going to do a stream where we we play Chowder's Mario Paint. Uh, I have a SNES. I have a capture card. So, not tonight. But, I promise you this. It will happen and it will be a stream for the ages where I actually, on real cartridge, do this. And he has also... Sent me something else. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and goddamn gentlemen. Holy bananas. Chatter has sent me. This. Game Boy Advance bootlegs. So I now have this. Game Boy Advance, no repeat, 369 in one. Um, there's a fuck ton of games on here. Okay, here's a little cartridge. Oh! 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 Oh, it's like... Oh! What is that smell? Oh, it's like... It came out of a plastic graveyard. What is that? Oh, oh, oh. It's like a chicken nugget factory. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it. Just I got a, caught a whiff of this. Okay. Well, all right. Uh, so Chowder has now sent me Mario Paint and a Game Boy Advance bootleg. <laughs> all right. Uh, cool. I like it. I like it. Yo, that's a lead they used to make these. So you're saying not only am I going to get like excessive diarrhea tonight from eating all the, uh, you know, little Debbies, you know, uh, little diapies, uh, the Swedish fish, the fritos, and God knows what else. But then I also had, you know, the, the puddings. I had lip balm all over my face. But now I'm also being subjected to like, you know, <laughs> lead smells from China <laughs> I'm not sure what this is but um, it's a bootleg cartridge and it, came, it comes in its own box so that's very nice that's very nice actually and he also sent me he also sent me a an adapter for my Super Nintendo that allows me to actually stream this super advanced adapter from Retrobit made in China so there we go everybody um Chatter, did you forget the cable to this fucking adapter? No, 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 he didn't. No, he didn't. I, I think I have some cables at home. That's fine. That's fine. I can get some cables myself. Um, but all right. Uh, th there's some cables involved with the adapter because this, this adapter needs like additional cables to run with the Super Nintendo. So, uh... Jack Von Danger says, have you ever heard of E10, though? I actually have heard of E10. Uh, that's actually funny. Um, my cousin, my cousin's dad, uh, which is my uncle, essentially, he used to have a company um, that would ship stuff internationally. 
Uh, and God, I forgot what the, the company was called. But um, long story short, long story short, he, um, he, they, they, they are these little cookies from Sweden. And they all have like numbers to them. Uh, and E10, uh, unfortunately, it doesn't exist anymore since there, there was a horrific tragedy. Um, and I, I don't like to discuss it because, it, you know, a lot of people got hurt. <laughs> Sorry, the coming out of my face. <laughs> but <laughs> the tears. <laughs> but but E10 was was a co cookie that he sent off, and uh, one of the victims was Tom Nuts. Tom My Nuts uh, was one of the tragic <laughs> people involved in. <laughs> Death comedy. <laughs> okay, listen, everybody. I'm gonna go take a picture of friend and the Among Us thing together, and I'll post it in the BRB. But thank you so much, Shatter. This was a treat. Uh, thank you for all the various snacks and stuff like that. Now I'm gonna go shit my lungs out because my stomach is not okay after all that. Anyway, uh, I will be right back. Sit tight and uh, yes. My lips feel like poison now. Thank you so much. Okay, I have an image for you. I have an image for you um, to really like round this out. Um, so I forgot to mention something. Uh, Shouter did not only send, um, you know, the Among Us, he also sent me a, a goddamn American flag. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. There they are. <laughs> it's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Together at last. Anyway. Back to your regularly scheduled jazz. Bah.